Well, hello everybody. It is I, the son of your future father-in-law. And today what I'm going to be doing is playing a SpongeBob game called Delivery Dilemma. Where essentially what it is, is you have to, um, you, have, you play a SpongeBob driving the paddy wagon from the first SpongeBob movie. And essentially you, and essentially like, let's see what it says. Help SpongeBob deliver ingredients to the Krusty Krab on time without getting run off the road by playing by Plankton's minions. Okay. Let's see what it says. Accelerate, turn left, turn right, break, special attack, and the power-ups are Starburst, Pickles, Fish Oil, Slick, and Time Bonus. Starburst, I wonder, is it like the candy I'm assuming? But that's your weapon. Anyway, let's get the game going. Oh, that's a quote from Bubble Stand. Okay, so what I essentially have to do is, is get, I'm assuming that See that little map on the side? I'm assuming that yellow dot is me, and I have to get, and I essentially have to get to the side without while getting these idiots off the road. Like, as you can see, what I do is like, see that he bumped him off the road, bump him off the road, and bump, smack him with a pickle. Okay, I got a Starburst, which means I get extra speed, and I'm almost there. I'm gonna get some more pickles, and with the pickles, what I do is if you push the space bar, you throw them at cars to um. Essentially, they just disappear, so I says, good work, my boy. Now get out there and get me more ingredients. But he didn't even give it, he just drove up to him, which is confusing. So I'm assuming the ingredients are currently in the paddy wagon. Which way is it never shows him actually give the ingredients, it just shows him drive up. Oh look, two time bonuses right off the bat. Let's see if I can get to the second time bonus. Got him. Okay, so now I'm gonna give him a pickle as a gift for giving me that time bonus. I'm gonna curb that idiot. And then what I'm gonna do is, oh yeah, you want, oh, as you can see, I've been bumped off the road, so it says try again. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try again. Okay, so each each level starts with by giving you three pickles, and what happens is when you push the space bar, it throws the pickle, and what the pickle does is it basically, basically the card that it hits just flat out disappears. Then I just like to stick with the simple knocking them off the road attack method, like watch, like that. Bam, bam, two off the, Two right off the road, right off the bat. Okay, the oil slick's pretty useless, so I'm gonna ignore that. I still got two pickles. Okay, knock those two idiots off the road. Let's let's. Ooh, I'm almost there. I think I'm gonna make the level. Okay, ready? There I am. Great work, my boy. Now get out there and get me more ingredients. He doesn't even say please. It's kind of rude. He doesn't even say please. He just says get out there and get me more ingredients. But don't you think they'd have enough ingredients by now? Literally gotten two ingredients so far three times he's, he's asked him he didn't say please or thank you and he doesn't even pay him properly but as you know spongebob's addicted to his job because he's a little cuckoo in the head but that's probably why he's doing this could have got squidward to do this but as you know squidward's, squidward's like, probably like yeah i'm not paying i'm not doing this if you're not gonna pay me over time so because of that that's probably why Squidward, SpongeBob's doing this and not Squidward. Either that is because SpongeBob's a main character. I couldn't tell you. Anyway, there we go. I've completed the level, and as you can see, he says the same thing every time. But this game's this game's really confusing because what I don't understand is why is SpongeBob del delivering the same stuff over and over, and why doesn't it show any del does it does it not show any delivery? And worst of all, why is why is Mr. Krabs just asking him? Constantly go out and get ingredients. When do you want to go home by now? Because see how it says day one and day two? It implies that he's been doing this for, for day, for, he's, he's done this for two whole days, which is kind of crazy, because that means he didn't even get any sleepy time. Oh, there's my bonus. Okay, I'm gonna keep going, and you're gonna keep going and knock him off the road. Let's see if there's any more people I can knock. Oh, shoot, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna keep going until. The, until I run out of lives. Okay, Starburst. Speedy cakes, and away I go. And I made it to the Krusty Krab yet again. I wonder what's, what Gary's doing there. Why is Gary at the Krusty Krab? Maybe it was like, remember the episode where Squidward took care of Gary? I'm assuming after what he does since he doesn't trust him after that. Gary's now essentially more or less, oh, I got bumped off the road again. Okay, there I go. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it. So what my next goal is, it's to um, well get to the Krusty Krab again, more or less. 
So I'm gonna knock him off. There. Oh, oil slick, which is pretty useless. I mean, it's it's it's, a, it's somewhat useful. So essentially, if there's someone behind you, you do the oil slick, and it stops the drivers behind you. So that way they can't come up and bump you. It's, it's I would say the most useful ones either the pickles or the time bonus. That one's is not overly useless, but it's not very useful. Let me tell you. The thing is, the, as the game gets harder, because after every level, oh, I could have got that Star Wars, but I got, not, got bumped off the road by somebody other than me, which is sad. Anyway, I'm almost at the Krusty Krab. I think I'm going to make it to the Krusty Krab. Don't dare bump me off the road. Step away. And I made it to the Krusty Krab. But as I was saying, so I think after that episode, he doesn't trust Gary to be left alone in the house. So we brought him to the Krusty Krab, so Mr. Krab's going to look after him while he's getting him. While he's getting the, um... While he's getting the ingredients. But don't you think but do you think Mr. Krabs would have enough ingredients by now? And also, who's paying for the ingredients? Is SpongeBob paying for the ingredients? Or is Mr. Krabs paying for the ingredients? That's what I wanna know. Oh no 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 no! Oh that was a close one. Okay, anyway, let's get him off. I hit a pickle. And now I need another some more pickles or some more um Aha, Starburst. Which is speed. The problem is he's pretty the problem is, if there's too many cars, it gets wasted because the cars mean less speed, and less speed means less motion, and less and less motion means less time to get to the Krusty Krab. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost there, and I made it to the Krusty Krab. Okay, and I guess I'm assuming he got the ingredients off screen, and this is essentially the the bringing of the ingredients, if you know what I'm saying. So essentially, this the collection has already been made. Now this is just the bringing it to the Krusty Krab. So that's what I'm gonna do. Bring it to the oh oh right off the road again. Unfortunately, I've never run out of time yet in this in this. But I'm almost. Let's see if this time I can actually make it to the Krusty Krab or run out of time and not get bumped off the road. Because getting bumped off the road is the worst. He can get bumped off the road, but if I get bumped off the road, that's not good. That's. Okay, well, that was a bit of a... I fed two birds with one stone. I got rid of the... I got, I got the time bonus, but I actually knocked the pickle guy off the road. But at least I got the pickles right here. So I got the pickles, I'm gonna knock him off the road. And see, is there else I can knock off the road? Okay, just wasted a pickle. Okay, let's see if I can get to... Okay, knocked him off the road. Let's throw a pickle at him. Knock him off the road. Let's see if I, who else I can get knocked off the road. I'm gonna come off the road and collect myself some time. And now I'm gonna I, uh, I put some skids on the road, but I've almost made it, and I am at the Krusty Crab. It's a very it's the crustiest, the crabbiest restaurant in all of Bikini Bottom. Bottom. It's so crusty and so crabby that if anyone eats there, they'll say ah, gah, 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 just like Mr. Krabs, because you know that's Mr. Krabs' catchphrase. SpongeBob, me boy. Ah, gah, 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 gah. Okay, anyway, let's see how far I can get. I knock him off the road. Into a pickle at that guy. So that's it. This, uh, my question is: Are all the people on the road Plankton's minions? Or are these? Or just a few of them. And the others are just normal, average, everyday drivers. So I wanna know, we don't know. But my theory is that maybe one of, that only the one only the plane the ones that look like Plankton are Plankton's minions. But the rest are just normal drivers. If that is the case, that's kind of sad because that's essentially so int intense on his delivery that he's knocking people off the road. There I knocked him off the road, and knock him off the road. Oh, okay, that one was a fully wasn't fully off the road. Off the road, baby. Ready? Oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. I didn't make it, so I'll have to try again, because I used to have to try again. And away I go. Let's so we can get the time bonus right off the bat. Okay, good. And as you know, it starts with 60 seconds. So 58 seconds, essentially more than more or less, it just two seconds is an almost restart. Okay, I knocked three of them right off the. I knocked three of them off the road in quick succession, which is pretty awesome. Let's see how many others I can get. Okay, got him off the road. Him off the road. Okay, let's see how many more I can get off the road. Okay, let's see under the bridge and off the road. Off the road. 
Starburst. Let's see. I think I'm gonna make it. I'm quick, I'm gonna make it. And it was a close one, but I made it to the Krusty Krab. But of course, he's just gonna ask for more ingredients. I think the reason why he's asking for more ingredients is because it got bumped off. The, it might have fallen out of the cart when he got out of the road. But then he said more ingredients, not bring me the ingredients. So it's. I have no idea. Sorry. But you should. But I'm just. Ask, I'm just stating what I know or what I don't know. I missed him by a camel's nose here. But that one I got luckily. So essentially, I wasted a shot. So can I bump him? Yes, I bumped him. Let's get my time bonus. Now if I can keep going and catch up to that Starburst guy, which I did, I almost did, and I am- Oh crap. Come on, I gotta catch up, catch up, catch up. Come on, I gotta catch up. Catch up, catch up, catch up. I don't know, whatever. Oh, okay, now I'm getting in. Now. Okay, good. I'm making motion. I'm making motion to moves. And off the road, baby. Let's make it stop Plankton himself. As you can see, once sometimes like that, Plankton himself is actually in the car. I'm gonna knock him right off. Now what's he gonna do? Can't do anything now because he's screwed. Oh ho! Knock him off the road. I don't think I get there in five, four, three, two. No, oh, it says missed delivery. Oh well. Looks like he missed his delivery. So I guess that was it. Unfortunately, he missed his delivery and he won't be able to get it. So. But luckily I was able to make, I think, like, f f eight to ten deliveries, so that's a pretty good. So that was your boy, H-Boy, playing Delivery Dilemma, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.